everyone, I'm Adam. Thanks for joining us again. Today we've got some new challenges and games. Let's get started. All right, everyone, on your feet. I'm gonna show you the moves. Try and keep up with me and do your best. Let's have some fun. Let's start off with some marching. That's it, get your knees up, use your arms. All right, now into some jumping. Great job. I want you to watch my feet here. We're gonna do a step jump, like this. And slowly build this up. That's it, keep up with the music. Well done. Now we're gonna do a cross jump. I can build it up again. Good job. Well done at home. All right, we're gonna go into a star jump. We all know these. Whoa, I don't. All into star jump, that's it. Great work. Okay, now into some squats and then jump, squats and jump, squats. Couple more, terrific job. All right, and we'll just march that off. Well done guys. All right, I want you to put your hand across your heart. Let's just slow down a little bit here. Feel your heart beating inside. Whew, that's pumping some blood around to the rest of your body to give you some energy. Great effort, great start. Well done. Hi all, welcome back. Today we're gonna to be focusing on strengthening our tummy muscles today. So all of our abdominals, um, really strong muscles. We've got to get this nice and tight today. Um, I'm gonna to be adding some variations to make it a little bit more or less challenging. Um, but don't forget, let's have some fun. Let's get active, let's get started. Okay, so for our first one today, we're gonna to be going straight into our high knees. So straight up, nice and high. My, little, my younger students, just really basic. For my older students, let's cross those ones over. Drive those knees up to my elbows. We're going across the body or in front, but really driving that knee up nice and high. I'm bringing it to my elbow. I'm not going down to my leg. I'm bringing my knee up. Great, 10 more seconds. Really drive those knees. Or cross. Well done. Be fast, you've got more of a challenge. Excellent, three more seconds. Okay, now rest. So, we've got about 30 seconds rest and then we'll start again. In this next one, we're gonna be doing our sit-ups. So, we need to be lying down. Our feet are gonna be flat on the ground. Head back. Hands onto our knees and we're going to be driving up nice and slow. We're not starting yet. You've got about 10 seconds to just shake those tummy muscles out. Get ready. Are we ready? Three, two, one. Let's get started. We're driving up to our knees. Excellent. Well done. If you want a bit more of a challenge, let's lift those legs up and we're going to be going under our, our knees with our legs up. Oh, that's a good one. There it is, beautiful work. Nice and slow and controlled, great work. 10 seconds, beautiful. There we go, couple more, and rest. Okay, our next one today is gonna to be our lying legs extensions. So we're gonna be lying down again, nice and flat, like a log on the ground, and we're gonna be bringing our knees to our chest. Really easy. This one's a great one. If you want a bit more of a challenge, we can just drive one knee at a time, keeping our legs off the ground. Don't start just yet. We've got five seconds. Are you ready? Let's get started. So legs flat, and we're bringing our knees up. One at a time, or two, and resting on the ground. Up, and resting on the ground. Really slow. A bit more of a challenge. 
one leg at a time. If you really want a challenge, let's go swimming. Oh yeah, there it is. <laughs> Woo! Okay, and rest, beautiful. Now our second to last one is gonna be our opposite arm and leg. So, in this position, we're gonna be bringing one of our hands up and one of our legs up at the same time. It looks like this, one and two. Really trying to drive that hand and that leg up as high as you can. If that's too hard, just do one hand or one leg at a time, that's okay too. Are you ready? Let's get started. So, cross, across, or just straight ahead's fine. You choose what works for you. I like the real good challenge, that's a really good one. I love this one. Try and hold it if you can for a second. Really driving that leg up. Beautiful, 10 more seconds. Nice and slow and controlled. Or one hand, one hand, one knee. Beautiful, and rest. Okay, our last one, this is it. You're working so well, let's do one more together. We're gonna be lying down and doing our side twists. So back on, back down, flat, knees up, and we're gonna be bringing our hands to our side of our shoe or our foot. So we're, so we're twisting our upper body to go to our foot. A bit more of a challenge, feet up, and we're touching our bottoms of our feet, just like this. Don't start just yet. Now it's time to start. Let's go. Touching our feet, side to side. Really feel that in your tummy muscles. Oh, that's a great one. There it is, bit more of a challenge. Let's touch the bottom of our feet. Here we go. Really feel my tummy working now. Can you feel your tummy's working? I can. Beautiful, five seconds. And beautiful, and we're done. Great job today. Can you feel your huffing and puffing? I can. Quickly grab a drink. I know I need one. I'll see you again soon. Bye for now. Hi boys and girls. Today, we'll be moving our body to rhythm and coordination. I'll be giving you some movement sequences. I'd like you to follow along as best you can. We're gonna start simple and slow, and then we're gonna speed up once we get used to it. If you can't keep up, that's okay. Just slow down and do the speed that you can do. With practice, you'll be very quick very soon. The first movement pattern that we're gonna do, I'd like you to follow along with me. So we're gonna go jump, legs, chest, clap, click. Let's do that again. Jump, legs, chest, clap, click. A little bit quicker. Jump, legs, chest, clap, click. 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 Did you follow along? Fantastic, don't forget if it gets too quick, go at your own speed. Now what we're gonna do is do the pattern up and then we're gonna come back down with the pattern. So it's gonna go like this. Same on the way up as we did before. Jump, legs, chest, clap, click. So now we're gonna come back down the opposite way we started with. So we're gonna go click, clap, chest, legs, jump. Jump, legs, chest, clap, click. Click, clap, chest, legs, jump. Jump, legs, chest, clap, click. Did you see my mistake then? Getting a little bit quicker now. Have I lost you yet? And I've lost myself. Well done everyone. Great for trying. And you can see, I'm leading this and even I make mistakes. Now we're gonna go a movement pattern going from side to side. So the way this is gonna go, and you can follow along now as well, we're gonna start off slowly and get quick again. So we're gonna go step, slap your legs, shoulders, click, click, shoulders, legs, stomp, stomp, legs, shoulders, click, click, shoulders, legs, stomp, stomp, legs, shoulders, click, click, 
shoulders, legs, stomp, stomp, legs, shoulders, click. And that's about as quick as I can go. I wonder how quick you can go. Or if you can set your own challenge and set your own movement patterns, even come up with some new movements and new movement sequences. Thank you for following me today. Remember, that will take a lot of practice. So I encourage you and invite you to practice in your own time, especially when you need those movement breaks from sitting down too long. I'll see you next time. Margrook is a traditional Aboriginal football game played at gatherings and celebrations by sometimes more than 100 players. Today's AFL games are played with 22 players on each team, which is a total of 44 players. Well, welcome back everybody. You've done a fantastic job today. This is our last um, activity for the day, a little bit of a challenge task. So today for this challenge task, you're gonna need some, some ob objects. So I've got a tennis ball that I found around the house. I've got a balloon if you've got one of those. I've also got some, an alfoil ball um, and a pair of rolled up socks. You need a couple of different things today. If you don't have any of those, these three, then just grab a couple more socks and maybe have a little pair of socks, a big pair of socks, but we want two or three different types of objects. Now, in this game, it's very simple. This game's called Keep It Up. All you need to do is we're gonna try and knock this ball with our flat hands and try and keep it up as long as possible. But I want you to work out which one of these objects was easier to keep up and why do you think that's the case? So, I'm gonna start with my rolled up socks. It's gonna look something like this. Whoop. Try and keep your hands nice and flat, flat fingers all together, and just try and keep it up. If you want a bit more of a challenge, whoa, that's pretty tough. Maybe try a different type of object, and you could also include whoa, a knee or a foot to try and keep it up for as long as you can. Right, that's it from, me, from us today. Have a wonderful uh, rest of your day. We'll see you again soon. Thanks for tuning in.